hello and welcome back everyone to BVA to Z. Um, in our prior video, we've seen uh, BVA way how to use BVA to update existing data in um, SQL table. Uh, in this uh, another example, I want to show you um, uh, another example of how you can put in um, SQL command with the BVA code and ex uh, update the existing data. This is uh, a very useful uh, link that I'll be putting in the video description. So um, so that you can you know uh, follow along and you can even try it out yourself. I would recommend uh, you to follow this site for learning any of the thing, uh, including um, SQL statement. And um, here I'm gonna show you another example of how you can do that. So first I'll make a copy of the prior code that we have written, and I'll call this um, as uh, exercise two or part two of this code and I'll get rid of all the thing including RSC we're not, we're not, we don't want to do that now so for example here this is select we are selecting earlier what we did was we open uh, this close table where the city name is called in New Orleans and then we updated all the first name is called Christopher okay so let's see that uh, here is another example that uh, is here is very useful uh, here this is update the table and then set this field equal to this Hamburg where the customer ID is equal to this so let's replicate this um, uh, you know uh, similar thing uh, in our uh, SQL statement let me get rid of the current SQL statement so for example so ours is close table and then we want to set uh, now let's set the last name to something else set last name equal to let's put this number and where the customer now let's say that where the <coughs> excuse me um, where the first name is equal to you know that so if you put in text, put it within the single code and the field name this. Okay. So let's see if it works. So I don't need the RSC here. We'll directly execute this command. Okay. SQL command. Execute and then SQL str. So I'm saying open this connection. Open set this connection up. And then this is my SQL. Oh, sorry, connection string. Uh, this table, this database, this table, and then execute this. You know, update command into this close table. So let's see if it works. So first, I'm just gonna come back here. I'm just gonna refresh this, and you can see that New Orleans records are on top, right? So let me run this. So I'm gonna run okay there is an error so microsoft this invalid object name close db close db okay there must be something okay it's slow sorry it's my bad so it's slow db it's supposed to be slow stable as in like the incoming and outgoing transaction but anyways just update the flow table with uh last name equal to this all the records um, where the first name is called Christopher okay so hopefully there is no other Christopher yep no so let me run this again so hopefully this time it went through let me refresh this table okay so you can see that all the name with Christopher has been changed to Humber so this is another way you can directly you don't have in this in the prior example we are looping through each of them um, you know Various methods will come very handy if you know various ways to do things. So this is a way of directly executing the command, SQL command, uh, in using the ADO connection, and then updating the data in SQL server. And then this one is uh, by looping through each of the record that is open through this SQL statement. Okay. So I hope you found this, uh, you know, uh, informative. Please uh, like and subscribe to our channel, BB A to Z. In our next video, I'm going to look at how uh, various ways of deleting the data and then, you know, 
we'll see more examples as we go along so thank you for following us uh thank you once again for you know uh supporting us by liking and subscribing to our channel thank you bye bye